Sergio, my friend, it's always a pleasure to see you. And today I have the great gift to be in Japan with you, yes. where this guy is being built yes. and one of my favorite machines to talk about just because it really allows customers to do so many different things on one machine. And things is a really simplified word because it really is multitasking and multifunctional. And when we get into that, we're looking at uh, multi-directional to use multi again, yes. spindle head. We're looking at the same turning style that we're so used to seeing, yeah. but this machine can do so much and it's focused on aerospace, but it goes across the board for anyone who needs it. Let's talk about this machine. It does. So, you know, they cre created this product more so for, again, uh, the aerospace industry, uh, which is a product that we needed for the U.S. As you know, there's a lot of that industry, uh, Northwest, in New England area, throughout the United States. There's a lot of, especially also, you know, spa space exploration is a brand, it's a new thing now in the U.S., right? So. As a matter of fact, we have these machines making space components at this point. So, great platform available with twin lower turrets and an, up, and an upper milling spindle. Very unique configuration. Uh, a lot of our customers prefer this because it gives them a lot of a lot of flexibility. Um, normally, with the aerospace, is more of a high mix, low volume, five, ten pieces. So, quick change is very important, and this machine allows you to do that. Uh, flexibility is something I don't personally have as I try and stretch out here, but yeah, this machine <laughs> is incredible at it. Yeah. Now, we're, we've now caught the attention of the aerospace folks who are watching right now. We know this can go to anywhere in any part of the industry. So let's talk about some of the unique characteristics that this machine offers for the aerospace and then broader than that. But for one, I know this head looks quite small. Yes. And then I see cool things all the time from Methods Machine Tools with pinch turning and machining two sides at one time on opposite spindle. There's just so much to it, right? So yes. let's get the audience very excited about what they can potentially do on this machine. Yeah, so they, they call these spindles the Smart Cube. And it's a new, unique design by Nakamura. And there's a shorter spindle in this class. And the ideal is to be able to put on a machine like this three tools in a cut. So if you have too large of an upper spindle, you run out of real estate. And by the time you get the spindle horizontal in the, in the center line doing ID work, you might run out of room, run out of real estate to do other work with the lower turrets. So then a lower turret becomes not really a lower turret anymore, it's just a support unit. Um, but with the, with the smaller spindle, you can definitely put three tools in a cut in this machine. You can support the part with a steady rest. You can support the part with the center. We're using one turret and cut with two turrets. So it's very unique flexibility. Uh, landing gears, um, uh, yokes for uh, uh, aircraft. I mean, it's, um, there's been a lot of different components being made in this machine for aerospace guys. Uh, Sergio, you and I talk regularly for the audience that watches about what multitasking can do for a customer, the potential to lower those cycle times, the potential to reduce the overall machines in a facility, to get those one-off parts within a machine, reduction of the real estate. You know, there's so much that goes into it. But I'd like to take a moment to focus on this smart cube here yeah. right now because yeah. me personally, I was a machinist for a long time and I go into a lot of machine shops and I see this rotate at about 45 to 60 degrees, and a lot of times that's about as far as it can go based on space. Right. Or secondly, if I have enough space for the thing to turn a full 90 degrees, I have to have one side pushed all the way over, which almost makes it useless. Right. Now I've reduced that three things in cut right. into two or one in cut based right. on needing that space. We are truly able to rotate this piece of art here and allow us to still have that cutting process because yeah. of its overall size. But am I losing the rigidity and torque and horsepower? I'm not, am I? No, absolutely not. I mean, there's a lot of new uh, servo technology too that comes with this, right? So even though you look at the size of that spindle, it's still a 25 horsepower spindle uh, on this machine. Uh, so a lot of technology now, you know, with the controls, with the servo motors. So they're making the, sm the motors smaller, but also more powerful. And then the unique of this machine too is all the, the mass that's behind that spindle. So this machine is 55,000 pounds. So you look at it, it's like, wow, right? So very heavy duty construction, uh, very stable machine, and there's a lot to do with the weight too. So it's not only the rigidity of the spindle itself, 
but it's the rigidity of the overall machine. Sergio, did I hear you correctly? 55,000 pounds? Yes, you did. Did you guys hear that? 55,000 yes. pounds. Yes. One of my favorite songs all about that bass, but I'm not going <laughs> to sing for these guys today. Thank you, Sergio, for sharing how this can work for the aerospace and beyond multitasking. Three in cut at one time. The smart cube being able to rotate, keeping the power and sharing that with the yes. audience. One last thing I'd like to close out with when we're talking about methods as well. And we are both in Japan right, right now as I factory. look around. You have a ton of these machines actually headed to the U.S. right now, don't you? We do. We have over 200 machines on order with Nakamura. Uh, those are all machines that we order for stock. And we have machines ordered through 2023 and even through 20, part of 2024. Some of the machines that you saw here today are Methods machines for our stock. So probably about 20 to 25 Methods machines here. Again, stock is very important in the U.S. Uh, stock is king. You need a machine, you need it right away. Uh, and we have stock at Methods, we have stock in US. And Nakamura has been always very helpful in making production slots available for Methods so we can get machines quicker. But, you know, typically we, we order machines every month. And again, you know, over 200 machines on order with these guys. So yeah, uh, it's perfectly, a good thing. Yeah, perfectly, perfectly said, Sergio. And I got a funny feeling, I know a few of those customers out there that are getting a few dozen yes. of those themselves. No yes. shout outs today, but congratulations <laughs> on your machines coming soon. Sergio, as always, Thanks, thank you so much for sharing Thanks. this Thanks. story with the audience. Yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.